Polar Prince with the five Canadian. Bo of the fifth column just finished a live stream. We got him watching you. He is watching your content. He chat live with you. Peace from Newfoundland. Uh, uh, CA. Wait, is he still live right now? Jesus Christ. We good? Hello? My fucking chair back thing fucking popped out. I gotta get a new chair. Jeez. Yeah, CIA. I just dodged a shot. It's not a fart. What the fuck, guys? You got blown the fuck out. Talk to Vosh. Uh, I'll get to that in a second, dude. Love your content. I've gotten quite a few people to rethink. Thank you. Um, I'll get to that so one. I've been watching his stuff lately. Some of it. I've got to tell you, I do not have the restraint that he has to deal with... Uh, some of his guests i'm not even i'm not even joking he had a southern guy on there and was asking why um <laughs> basically asking him what the the differences were um when it came to black and white people and the guy said genetics and just i realized that that is not a format for me because uh, there are multiple times in that video i would have been like listen here hillbilly um I like Bo a lot. I've got a lot of respect for that guy. Hopefully I get to talk to him sometime in the future. He's actually doing exactly what I talk about, which is diversity of aesthetics, you know? Um, it's all about appealing to different demographics. One of the reasons why I got so big is because the online left was all about faggy, you know, bedroom, bisexual lighting video essays. And I'm a gamer boy, you know, I'm out here gaming. I say faggy affectionately, uh, I have sucked dick, I fuck men, I apologize. Just to clarify, I can say fat. You guys can't say that. I mean it in a positive way. You can't do that. Only I can do that. When I say it, it's unambiguously positive. You can't do it. Can't do it. Okay? I have the pass. Anyway, I'm a gamer boy. And Bo of the Fifth Column appeals, like, heavily to, like, the, uh, you know, like a Southern Appalachian aesthetic in, in a way that other lefties online just can't. And the numbers speak for themselves, dude. Bo of the Fifth Column has exploded. I dream of these numbers. Are you kidding me? Quarter million views in one day. Look at these. These are all these are all six-digit view counts. You can generally tell how influential a person is based on their uh, view count. Right now, I'm at a uh, well. Social Blade's view count isn't perfectly accurate, but uh 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 six point six million a month. My peak was 9 million. We're climbing back up a little bit, but um, if we go to Bo of the Fifth Column, we... Oh! Oh, that's interesting. I didn't expect that. Well, if you go to Bo of the Fifth Column, you actually see he's got the exact same monthly viewership as me. Not entirely sure how that works, but if you go to somebody like uh, David Pacman, David Pacman Show, uh, he's up to around 28 million video views a month and david pacman has exploded lately look at him he was getting around 10 million or so for years and he has just it rocketed up to like three times that amount in like no time whatsoever you know and of course we have tim cast with tim pool 60 million colossal massive and that's on his only channel we also have Timcast IRL with its 20 million, so that's 80 million in total. And then Tim Pool, his main channel, with about 20 as well. Between all of them, about 100 million collective views a month, greater than any political figure online in the English-speaking world. So that's the comparison, you know? If we want to take a look at general influence online, Sam Cedar's at about 9. Sam Cedar is about 50% more online influential than I am. I'm about equivalent to Bo of the Fifth Column, and Tim Pool is about 18 times as influential as I am, if this is the metric you use. Contra? Contra isn't a good one to use, because Contra uploads video essays once every two months, so her view count is going to be pathetic compared to mine. For her, this formula doesn't work. We're looking at channels that pump out one, two videos a day. For no bullshit, all the way down to one million. Womp womp. Now, do we want text-to-speech? Is that something we want? We'll do text-to-speech for as much as I'm physically capable of stomaching it. Hot take if you don't like mushrooms and or onions in your food, you have objectivity bad taste. Also, cereal and yogurt Wrong. is fog. What? 
Wrong. W O F W U H U V Woof W A A A A F Woof 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 W U U U L U F F F Woof. Agreed. No, no, totally. No, agreed. Yeah. How am I supposed to watch all your content if you stream daily, you beautiful scrub? I put the best stuff out there in videos for your uh uh, uh for your convenience, comrade. That's the best I can do sometimes. Thoughts on the Amazon TV show The Boys? I haven't seen it, but I really want to. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. I tend not to watch live action shows because I'm a weeb through and through, but it is something that I want to watch. How much wood would a woodchuck right, chuck, chuck if, if a woodchuck, woodchuck had democratic chuck. control oh. of the workplace and was entitled to the product of its woodchucking labor? Oh, an obscene amount of wood. Productivity would be through the roof, comrade. That's, <laughs> that's Marxism 101. Do you think the left would have more political success in the U.S. if we could incorporate more patriotism into our rhetoric? Example, we're the best country on earth, but we don't have health care. Uh, yeah, for sure. That shit's super effective. Bo the Fifth Column does that pretty well, but it is very, 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 very effective. It's possible to do that, too, without engaging in any American exceptionalism, you know? The values of our founding fathers were revolutionary at the time, but now we struggle behind our European... You know, our European compatriots and all these metrics, that kind of stuff, you know? There's ways to do it properly. Next hot food, take peanut butter on bagels, beats the fuck out of cream cheese on bagels. I'd say it depends on my mood, but I think they're both viable. Especially if you lightly salt the uh, peanut butter bagel. Let me out! Narco Biden is until November 3rd, then we blasting on M. Hi, Lily. True. Why do you not like the ReZero MC on episode 5? Dude, anime pro tags are cringe as fuck, and he's a fucking simp, dude. I don't like it when anime pro tags are creepy to women and it's played off as a joke. I don't like it. I just, it's really fucking creepy, dude. When a, when a guy's like, oh, my late, oh, but you're so beautiful, my heart. But when they're af acting like fucking Pepe Le Pew, but like it's treated like normal. And like the girls will make jokes about them feeling uncomfortable around the guy. Like that's a recurring joke in anime. They'll be like, Rem, Rem, the look he's giving me feels as though he's dressing me down with his eyes. And it's like a joke. Like in the past, you said you hated Elfin Light. Can we get a quick rant? A lot of people seem to love it. I can't, I can't do rants uh, with TTS streams because I'm going to get interrupted. But El basically, the problem with Elf and Lead is that it's fucking dumb and bad and stupid. And anyone who likes it is objectively an idiot. That's the main issue I have with it. Like, liking Elf and Lead is basically like a, a deific signifier of your worthlessness as a human being. So if you like it, my problem is that you're worthless. Like, that's the main issue. I know that in later they criticize Subaru for his behavior, but they only do that after turning Rem into a fucking simp for him, okay? They make, like, they criticize Subaru for being a creep weirdo, but first of all, they don't really criticize him for being a creep, because even after Subaru has his fucking breakdown, spoilers, um, he's still creepy towards Rem and suggests they run away together and shit, and Rem encourages that behavior. Rem is like, yeah, even though I've known you for a week and you've done nothing but be weird around me, I would bury your children. And then afterwards, Rem Rem just turns into a personality devoid simp. One last donation. <sighs> okay. Proud boys errant white supremacists then? What is a good argument I could use? Also, Bloodborne and Dark Souls games would be awesome. Well, all Republicans are white supremacists and Proud Boys are Republicans, so... I live in Georgia and if we turn blue I will cry tears of joy. I live in a red district, so... There's Trump stuff everywhere, and most of the people I know are Trump supporters. Someone please help me, by the way. I don't know if I can help you with that, comrade. But with regards to the Proud Boys thing, they Marking are absolutely... The true degeneracy we God damn it. Assume you don't like Konosuba because the main character is a pervert? Uh, well, the worst part of Konosuba is the main character being a pervert. The rest of the jokes are, tend to be pretty good, though. But, like, yeah, it's still lolly pervert creepo shit. Yeah like all fucking anime is, because people who watch anime are all pedophiles and rapists. I'm sorry, except for me, I'm the only one. It's fucking infuriating, dude. There are so many anime with good premises and good art, with good stories made by good people with a lot of talent, and then it's rapey fucking bullshit that they have to put in there because it's the only way to appeal to the loser degenerates who never fucking leave their bedroom, who fucking spend the most money on anime. You know why they do that shit? It's not because everyone likes it. People in Japan, weebs, they also make fun of this behavior. 
Sakura. The reason they make it all that fucking creepy is because the people who spend the most money on anime, the people who drop the most cash, are the hardcore otaku losers who tend to be into the pedo lolly rape shit. Cat boy bussy is best bussy. I mean, it's undeniable that there's a fuck ton of sexism there, but a lot of it is really because you're appealing to the pro. The issue is that um, it's it's appealing to a very juvenile kind of sexism because in all these sh all these shows uh, that are incredibly weird and creepy and rapey and pedophilic. Steve is confirmed for Smash Brothers. It's an incredibly juvenile kind of sexism because you have to constantly appeal to the sex interest of the young boys who are watching, but you can't actually I have sex. I playing FNAF on stream today. The sex shit is so creepy in anime is because they constantly, like, push sexualization, but they can never actually have sex. Because if they did, the pro tag would become unrelatable to the virgin loser audience of otaku. So you're always talking about sex, you're always being creepy, you're always being rapey, you're always pushing it, but the pro tag can never actually have it. Anyway, I just want to complete the thought that I've been trying to finish for what feels like two hours now, which is fuck anime for normalizing so much goddamn creepy-ass rapey pedo shit, okay? It's so much and it's so bad. So much bottom-tier fucking uh, light novel adapted anime are creepy as shit, they're rapey as fuck, they're designed to appeal to literal fucking brainlit uh, uh, adult children who are old enough to have disposable income to buy Blu-rays with, but are mentally 14 years old and think women aren't even human beings who just want to be able to feel up a fucking lady at a fucking bus stop and not have her smack him in the face and call the cops. That's all these people want. That's why all these anime don't actually have sex. They don't want to have sex, they want to rape somebody. They don't want to have a girlfriend, they want to have a lolly compatriot who just keeps hugging them at waist height. They don't actually want intimacy, they don't want a person of a woman, they just want some slavishly devoted, low IQ, fucking cutie girl in a dress that no human being would ever be caught dead wearing in to follow them around to tell them every decision they've ever made is genius. That's what they want. It appeals to the lowest of the bottom of the basement, below the bottom of the basement.